Hey guys, what's up? So, I'm gonna do a reading for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I just literally finished like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen readings, and I'm so tired. But that's okay, cause I'm gonna do one more today for you guys. All right, travel. One thing that we gotta talk about. Your angels are showing that there is travel ahead. Hold on, there's a little, we're a low battery there. Okay, um, 20%. <laughs> um, so Archangel Raphael wants you to know that traveling is going to be extremely important for you, especially with your career. And they are showing um, the fall time. Your angels are showing the fall. What's gonna be happening in the fall time? What's gonna be happening? Ooh, travel for some sort of a talk and conversation. Someone wants to talk to you. <laughs> oh. oh, somebody who you had a separation with. Damn, you got some differences with this person. Poison, person. Didn't know what I wanted to say there, but what I wanna say is they're watching you. Whoever this person is, do 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 do. You're far away from them, but they're watching you. And they are desiring you. Dang, what you got going on? You know what I'm saying? All right, anyway, gotta stop acting ridiculous. Okay, yeah, they're definitely watching you. Look, another card that just comes out with watching, they're standing back as a secret admirer energy. Because you've been giving yourself self-love. You've been focusing on you. And the more that you focus on you, the more this individual's like, why aren't you focusing on me anymore? But, 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 but. Yeah, the more you give yourself self-love, your angels are showing that there is action towards a message here. And I do see that there's a very heavy attraction between the both of you. And when this comes in, your angels are saying, if you feel like you have to make a decision right away, know that you don't have to make any sort of a decision right away. You can take your time. Don't let anybody pressure you. Go with the flow. Trust your angels are going to be showing you the truth when time comes. And um, I'm seeing that... There could be worry surrounding like forever commitment and betrayal, right? Um, let's see. Yeah, there is definitely a worry about betrayal with marriage and forever commitment. But the thing is, is your angels want you to know that there is a gift coming in for you, right? This gift, I feel like you're kind of hyping yourself up a little bit for certain things in the future and it's causing you a lot more fear than necessary. Um, so your angels are saying, please release this fear because they really do have this entire situation for you. They have it handled. They already know what's going to happen. Everything's going to be okay. A lot better than okay. All right. Um, but I'm also sensing that this fear is, is because someone else feels as if they need redemption from their situation that they, they put you in. And I feel like you both kind of put each other in a situation, but there's, there's some sort of a big decision here. Let's see, what is this big decision? What is this big decision coming in, angels? Wow, this is funny. This big decision is something that you've been manifesting. The fact that you've had been so patient and you've had so much strength through this entire thing, your angels want you to know that this big decision that's coming in is a wish fulfillment. This is something that you have been manifesting, so it's not something that you have to like worry about or be like, beep, beep, back it up. No, you're fine. You can move towards this. And I'm actually sensing that you are meant to live in luxury, but be careful of other individuals that are career oriented, um, making you feel like you have your own um, creative blocks because of, because of their criticism. Um, there's some sort of a connection that can turn sour. It could be a of a, it's like bouncing ideas off of one one another, like a friendship, but also like I I don't want to say like a coworker connection, but it's like um, where both of you were interested in the same stuff and ideas were bouncing off of one another, but someone kind of got greedy with the information that you were giving them, and I'm seeing that this person is not using it for the best intentions for others around them, but you always had the best intention. So the fact that you do have the best intention for yourself, for others around you, your angels want to honor you with that gift that I was talking about. They're saying that justice is coming in. And when it comes to being in a toxic environment surrounding people who, um, who bring such an imbalance, it, it's like 
there's imbalance between work, between family, um, someone worrying about a ruined reputation, but you need to hold up your boundaries. You need to defend yourself and not let other people put all of their shit on top of you. You need to stand your ground and speak up for yourself because the more that you let people walk all over you, it's like, I heard this saying, it was like, okay, if you put yourself over a puddle so people can walk over you, they're still gonna complain that you're not flat enough when they walk over you. And they're not even acknowledging the flat fact that they're not getting their shoes dirty from the puddle, that you're literally submerging your whole entire body in the puddle, getting wet because you wanted to help them and you wanted to help serve them, but they were greedy with it. And this greediness is going to end up showing within time. But right now, your angels are saying, it's like, let, let them feel like they are ahead of the game then let the truth come forward because there's big changes coming. Five, five, five on the clock, okay? There's fast movement coming with an emotional choice that's gonna need to be made. So get ready for some unexpected news, heavy sudden change and air travel. Definitely someone's gonna be traveling through the air and success is gonna be assured with this. You're gonna wonder, do I commit to this situation and this person or not? And your angels are showing that this person does thrive on sudden change and sudden action, but there's new beginnings here. There's new beginnings surrounding new love, surrounding marriage and your emotional health. And I'm seeing like, um, there was one cup being filled so much more than the other cup. It's like this, say this is your cup and it's completely filled with water. And this person has half water and you take your cup and you pour it the whole entire thing inside of their cup, right? It's overflowing with water now, and this person's drowning in your love. And to them, it doesn't feel good. So keep that in mind. There's only so much that somebody can take, even of a good thing. Um, wow, that was a message. Jeez. There are new beginnings coming though, okay? It's like a fresh start from an old way of being and thinking into feeling like, a free spirit like you don't have to worry anymore you don't have to feel like there are so many um risks around you you can just kind of feel like you can disregard them you can feel spontaneous again and this is the way that life should be it should be an adventure and your angels want you to know that there is success meant for you there's happiness ahead you got the sun card this is this is beautiful because this means that you are meant for prosperity for high achievement for um for just a, an understanding within this lifetime that you never got to receive before and your angels are saying that there's good news coming in so get ready and get excited there really is and I know sometimes it can feel like oh but I'm waiting but I'm waiting well fall time is just around the corner so keep that in mind I love you guys so much follow me on Instagram Chelsea Gomez 42 and if you'd like to purchase one of my tarot decks all you have to do is go to my website chelseamgomez.com this flower deck is my series one and then this um this beach deck is my series two um, yeah, and that website is chelseamgomez.com. Love you. And if you follow me on Instagram, chelseagomez42, um, if other people message you on Instagram saying that they are me, they are absolutely not me. I would never just go out of my way to message anybody and say, um, hey, do you want a reading? Because I'm literally so booked up. I'm booked all the way till September and um, or October, and there's just no way that I can possibly like beg people to let me give them a reading. It's like the other way around, so... Um, in the most humbly way possible, I'm saying that because there's just so many people that are needing um, readings and needing guidance and help that, you know, I am only one person and there's only so much that I can do. Um, so scheduling people and doing readings through a schedule is just so much easier. So don't let anybody scam you or take, take your softness and your, um, your sadness and take that from you and use it against you. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you.